Hi guys, it is Monday, February 11th, 2013. This is just a short video for my computer nerd friends on or off of Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Here's the setup. Uh, some of you may be familiar with my ongoing computer meltdown problems. This is my old computer, and this is my new improved computer. Yeah, pretty much the same computer, but anyway... I just want to run this by you since my uh, computer nerd of record says that I'm just blaring in my Ludditeness, my my complete ignorance, which I you know I own up to being a Luddite all the time. But here's the setup: the problems with this computer, the old computer, that I wish I could remember. Uh, what happened was last fall. Sometime, was it September or October, maybe you other YouTubers remember this, I was always using Internet Explorer to the horror of my computer geek friends. I, was, I always use Internet Explorer to do everything, including my YouTubes. But sometime last fall, maybe it was September or October, YouTube... Uh, strongly advised me to switch over to Google Chrome. I was having problems with uploading on Internet Explorer, and YouTube's advice would, to me was to switch over to Google Chrome, and I sh and I should eliminate most of my upload problems. So I took their advice, guys, and I will say it did eliminate my upload problems on YouTube by switching from Internet Explorer to Google Chrome. That did solve that problem. But what started happening, and I cannot remember what came first in this chicken-egg scenario, but right around the time that I started, that I switched off my Internet Explorer and moved over to Google Chrome, I started having these crashes where my computer would crash every day. This problem got progressively worse and worse. So finally, I just got so frustrated that I junked my old hard drive, my old Windows hard drive, and I replaced it with Linux, with a hard drive with Linux Ubuntu in it. And when you move over to Linux, you completely eliminate the option of Internet Explorer. You have to use Google Chrome, but I guess you can also use Mozilla Firefox. So anyway, now I was in this hard drive, this Linux hard drive, with uh, continuing on Google Chrome, doing everything on Google Chrome, my emailing, uh, my YouTube, everything. Okay. Well, guys, it did not fix the problem my computer continued to crash under this new hard drive with Linux. And this problem grew worse and worse. I had that hard drive for two or three months, the Linux hard drive, and it too started crashing and burning. So what I did last Sunday, you know, during the Super Bowl, we removed my Linux hard drive, and I reinstalled my old Windows hard drive, the one that was crashing in the beginning. And I just, out of total frustration, and told myself when this finally crashed and burned, I was going to get a new computer. Well, guys, it was obvious uh, by Monday morning, by a week ago today, that there was no hope for the original hard drive. It, it, it continued to crash. So what I did was I went and spent, well, $400 on, on this computer, on this Dell uh, Inspiron 15N5050 refurb with Windows, as you can see, uh, I'm, I'm putting in a bunch of, I'm putting in 82 updates on this new computer. So anyway, uh, I went ahead and while I was waiting for it to be shipped to me, uh, I got this new computer finally a Friday night at 7 o'clock at night. But anyway, while I was waiting last week, I continued to use this old computer. Well, I got worse and worse. So finally what happened, guys, on Wednesday morning, 
talking five days ago on Wednesday morning, the computer just would not start. I mean, it would come up and I would go into Google Chrome and it could not even bring up Google Chrome. This happened three times on Wednesday morning. This is the worst it had ever been. I consider this a complete crash and burn once for all. Three times on Wednesday morning, I tried to bring up Google Chrome. It did not come up. I said, okay, Hambun, you will get your other computer on Friday. Give it up. And, and, I, and I was leaving this computer in the junk pile, and then this, I had this weird, just total little flash of intuition, inspiration. And I turned on this son of a bitch computer. This was Wednesday morning, five days ago. Uh, and I went out of Google Chrome, and for the first time in months and months, I went back to Internet Explorer. I abandoned Google Chrome. I returned to my old friend, the enemy of computer geeks everywhere, Internet Explorer. The computer came right up. It came right back online like a brand new computer for five days and nights. This computer on Internet Explorer has been running like a brand new computer. I have put rants on this computer on Internet Explorer, not Google Chrome. I have uploaded several YouTube videos on Internet Explorer, not Google Chrome. I have had no problems with my uploads for five days and nights now. This computer has never crashed one time. It has been performing absolutely flawlessly since Wednesday. Needless to say, my computer geek buddy is saying, Hamon, this is a complete fluke. It has nothing to do. Your computer problems have zero to do whether you're in Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. This is just a, just a crazy coincidence that after months and months of problems spread over two different hard drives and Google Chrome getting crashes three or four times a day from the moment, the moment you went back to Internet Explorer, all crashes have ceased, have ceased for five days. He says this is a complete coincidence. Guys, I don't know. I am a Luddite, okay? All this shit is Greek to me. Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, all of this shit is Martian to me. Okay? But I just, I'm just throwing this out there as a question to my uh, computer nerd, computer geek friends. Does, does every one of you agree with my geek buddy that this has nothing to do with it? Or is there, in your professional opinion... Any connection between the fact that when I moved from Google Chrome back to Internet Explorer that the problems with my computer ended, please let me know. And the old Luddite will appreciate it. So I am getting ready to take this old computer. Since this new computer, I am now up to update 29 of 82 is going to be doing this next three hours. I'm going to head out in the rain on my rock with my old beater. Bye, guys.